द यूनियन पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन यूपीएससी इज भारत प्रेमियर सेंट्रल रिक्रूटमेंट एजेंसी फॉर रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ ऑल द ग्रुप ए ऑफिसर्स अंडर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया It is responsible for appointments to and examinations for the group A posts of several central government establishments which also includes the central public sector and the takings and the central autonomous bodies The commission is headquartered at Dholpur house in New Delhi and functions through its own secretariat To apply for UPSC exams candidates have to register themselves on the one time registration OTR portal After registration they have to log in to verify the already registered OTR application and apply for the desirable examination Active examination notifications can be checked on the UPSC website The UPSC syllabus for the civil services examination includes general studies which covers topics such as Indian economy environment and disaster management But the UPSC prelims is the first stage of the civil services examination and more than 10 lakh candidates applied for it in 2023 what are the different exams conducted by upsc so the answer is the union public service commission upsc conducts a wide range of exams to recruit individuals for various positions in the government of india the exams are designed to examine a candidate's knowledge skills and abilities in their respective field some of the most popular exams conducted by upsc are a Civil Services Examination B Engineering Services Examination C Combined Medical Services Examination D Combined Defence Services Examination A National Defence Academy Examination F Indian Naval Academy Examination G Special Class Railway Apprentice Examination H Indian Economic Service Examination I Indian Statistical Service Examination and combined geoscientist and geologist examination and central armed police forces examination and the rest of the active examination notifications can be checked on the upsc website now you can ask how to prepare for the upsc exam so preparing for upsc exams can be a daunting task but with the right strategy and approach it can be achieved here are some tips on how to prepare for upsc exams a Know the exam well before starting the preparation go through the syllabus of both prelims and mains exams understand the exam pattern and procedure thoroughly b strengthen your foundation build a strong foundation by reading ncert books and other standard books make separate copies for each subject while making notes make a copy for the current affairs c upgrade your knowledge read newspapers and magazines regularly to stay updated on current affairs Choose the best UPSC books and study materials. D. Practice answer writing. Answer writing practice is crucial for the mains exam. Write answers to previous year's questions and get them evaluated by experts. A. Revise regularly. Revision is key to retaining information. Revise the syllabus regularly and take mock tests to assess your preparation. F. Follow a schedule. Create a realistic and practical timetable that works best for you. Stick to the schedule and avoid procrastination. G. Stay motivated. Keep yourself motivated throughout the preparation process. Take breaks, exercise, and pursue hobbies to avoid burnout. H. Seek guidance. Visit coaching classes or online courses to get guidance from experts. Interact with toppers and learn from their experiences. By following these tips, candidates can prepare effectively for UPSC exams and increase their chances of success. Now you again ask the question what are the common mistakes to avoid while preparing for UPSC exams so here are some common mistakes to avoid while preparing for UPSC exams as mentioned in the search results a not following the curriculum mainly the biggest mistakes is not following the syllabus provided by UPSC it is important to refer to the syllabus and cover all the topics b ignoring mock test practice Mock tests are essential for exam preparation. They help in understanding the exam pattern, managing time, and identifying weak areas that need improvement. C. Not having a study plan. Making an inadequate study plan or not having one at all can lead to a lack of direction and ineffective preparation. It is important to create a realistic study plan and stick to it. D. Neglecting current affairs. Current affairs play a crucial role in UPSC exams. Not staying updated with current events can result in scoring fewer marks in the exam.
Regularly read newspapers and magazines to stay informed. A. Not revising regularly. Lack of revision can lead to forgetting important information. Make short notes and revise them regularly to retain the knowledge. F. Over-reliance on multiple books. Piling up multiple books can be overwhelming and time-consuming. It is better to choose a few standard books and study them thoroughly rather than trying to cover too many resources. G. Not practicing answer writing. Answer writing practice is crucial for the mains exam. Neglecting this aspect can result in poor performance. Practice writing answers to previous year's questions and get them evaluated. H. Not seeking guidance. It is beneficial to seek guidance from mentors or visit coaching classes to get expert advice and insights. Interacting with toppers and learning from their experiences can also be helpful. I. Poor time management. Effective time management is essential for UPSC preparation. Plan your study schedule, allocate time for each sub, and avoid procrastination. Last is, neglecting previous year question papers. Previous year question papers provide insights into the exam pattern and help in understanding the type of questions asked. Neglecting them can be a mistake. By avoiding these common mistakes, candidates can enhance their preparation and increase their chances of success in UPSC exams. Now the most important thing is. What is the syllabus for the civil services examination conducted by UPSC? The syllabus for the civil services examination conducted by UPSC is divided into three stages, preliminary, mains, and interview. The preliminary stage consists of two objective type papers, General Studies Paper 1 and General Studies Paper 2, also known as Civil Services Aptitude Test or CSAT. The syllabus for General Studies Paper 1 includes topics such as Indian Polity, Indian Economy, Environment, and Current Affairs. The syllabus for General Studies Paper 2 includes topics such as Comprehension, Logical Reasoning, and Decision Making. The main stage consists of nine papers, out of which seven are considered for ranking purposes. The seven papers include Essay, General Studies 1, General Studies 2, General Studies 3, General Studies 4, Optional Paper, and Optional Paper 2. The syllabus for General Studies I, 2, 3, and IV includes topics such as Indian Heritage and Culture, Governance, International Relations, Ethics, and Aptitude. The syllabus for optional paper 1 and 2 varies depending on the sub chosen by the candidate. The interview stage is the final stage of the civil services examination and is conducted to assess the personality and suitability of the candidate for a career in civil services. If you find this to be an informative video, press the like button and share this informative video. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get regular correct notifications. Thank you and always take care of yourself.